Meantime, with no cruise ship passengers in more than a year and with no return sailing date in sight, Port Canaveral leadership is expressing more frustration with the continuing shutdown. News 6's James Sparvero joins commissioners for their monthly meeting on where things stand as of right now. I can't wait for the day that I come up here and I start my presentation announcing a date on when we're going to start cruising. But uh, today's not that day. And the CDC does not give a restart date in its latest guidelines. Multiple phases working toward returning to cruising have been in place since November. But right now, Port Canaveral is only in phase two of at least four. Everyone's trying to work within these guidelines, but I can tell you that, that there's nothing easy about it. And as the shutdown approaches summer, the port says the cruise lines are not willing to miss their busiest season of the year again. Because cruising is allowed in other countries, the port says the ships will make money somewhere else this summer. It's a great concern because you're looking at tourism dollars that are, are leaving uh, our area and are, and are leaving our state and our, and our country. Uh, so we want those dollars back here in Florida. The state is suing the federal government, arguing the CDC cannot order long-term restrictions because it's an agency, not a regulatory body. Senators Rick Scott and Marco Rubio introduced legislation to end the shutdown by July 4th, but it died last week on Capitol Hill. The port is expecting to receive millions in federal relief money that was awarded to Florida seaports. We heard you say for months, but would you say it again that the port will still be financially stable with your reserves? We will be fine. We will get through this. We'll get there eventually. I can't say when. At Port Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.